at MSB, we've for years represented um, small businesses, directors of small and me medium-sized businesses. Um, when they've come into conflict with health and safety regulations, um, all kinds of regulatory issues. What's com coming in now, what's coming in on the 1st of February, um, is new sentencing guidelines for health and safety offences. Um, now, these guidelines are a real step up from where we've been in the past. In the past, um, businesses who were found guilty of breaches of health and safety regulations would often be fined in the thousands of pounds or tens of thousands of pounds. We're now entering a regime from the 1st of February where, in fact, um, large companies could be looking at fines in excess of a million pounds. And even micro businesses, that's any business, according to the guidelines, where the turnover is less than two million, they can be looking at, at, at fines of up to half a million pounds. Um, it's a scary proposition for a business owner. And, it, and, of, and of course, those kind of fines would be for the more serious cases. But even in a case of medium culpability, so that's your average, if I can put it that way, health and safety offence, the guidelines are still saying for small businesses that the sentencing rate should be between £60,000 and £160,000. Now, for any small business, that, that would just be a crippling blow. And it's more important than ever that businesses are um, advised properly when they come into contact with people like the health and safety executive, that they do need legal advice, because it may be that prosecution can be avoided, or if, in fact, there is to be a prosecution, um, it may well be that um, an arrangement can be come to where, in fact, the company might plead guilty on a certain basis to a lesser offence. That could make a massive difference under these new guidelines. So um, we've been doing a lot of work in the last year with companies um, to make sure that they're geared up for these changes. They've been flagged up in advance. And we also have, um, in an arrangement with uh, AXA Insurance, um, a number of our clients now actually take out uh, legal expenses insurance policies um, through AXA um, that cover the directors and officers of the company. And it covers you for an investigation, it covers you right through any prosecution, and it covers your legal costs in the, in the entirety. And those obviously can be very substantial amounts. So it's a real protection. In fact, if, if, if it was available for solicitors, we, we'd sign up for it as well. But solicitors, unfortunately, are, are actually excluded. But any other business, any other company are entitled to do it. And the costs are very modest. For a couple of thousand pounds, you can actually ensure that you will have access to that advice when you're faced with any kind of inquiry of that nature. That's something that people are going to need in the future.